the moment comes where you perhaps have to say to Liverpool, and I don't know whether you will think this is the right or the wrong thing to do, where you have to say, look, I am either want to be a Liverpool player or maybe the journey here comes to an end and you go somewhere full-time. Yeah, I feel I've got that decision to make uh, in the summer. I feel, uh, yeah, my last two years of loans have been good. I feel this one's been positive for me as well. i have finally in the Premier League, which is what I've worked work towards so yeah in the summer I'll be concentrating on Wales but once once that's done with yeah I feel I may have a decision to make and in your mind you want to be next season a Liverpool first team player yeah can I jump in as well I think it's refreshing to hear that because you, yeah. you hear a lot of kids will just stick it out at a big club like Liverpool and you hear them wanting to stay there for many years because they're more interested in the badge um, than actually playing and going and fighting and, and wanting to be a regular somewhere else. You might have to drop down. You're not hopefully not going to have to do that, but drop down a league, some players, to maybe come back up at some mm -hmm. point. But it's a big decision because egos come into it, pride. You're proud to be a, a player at a club of this stature. And you've got to humble yourself sometimes and say, I'm going to take a step back, step down, to come back in one or two years and, and become a top-class player that way. It's so just a different route. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll step in because... From a club's perspective, Harry's answered all the questions you asked. When when you go to a loan department, they they look at you look at every player, look at them individually. You look at like whether they can settle, what type of football they play, where do we want them to be in three years' time. Harry's done everything right from what Liverpool last. He's gone to Derby, different class. Hull before that, different class. <clears throat> Bournemouth, that step up in Premier League. He's done the job there. He's been different class there. So now I think coming back now, he's going to be knocking on the door and saying, "Listen, I'm a Liverpool player now, and I fully expect him to." to be part of the squad for next year and beyond because that would be the developmental thing. That's how the clubs do it from, they, they go, right, we do one step here, one step there, one step there, then he's ready. And as long as you do well every loan spell you do or three out of four loan spells, the club then bring you back, like at Chelsea, with Mason and Tamori, now they're ready. So I, th I think it's, it's mm. a brilliant system. It is hard to leave a football club like Liverpool, though. If you say, look at the players in front of you at the minute, obviously firing in all cylinders. I was in a similar situation myself at Liverpool with Fernando Torres uh, playing up front. I wasn't getting too many starts and I felt I, had it, I needed to move on. Uh, but then I looked at it, Torres was sold six months after I left and I thought, you know, I could be starting here for Liverpool. So it's an interesting balance you need to get right, whether to leave the football club or stick it yeah. out, because you never know in football you could end up starting here and that's your dream. But you have to have that, that belief and that mental strength to, to believe in your head that you are good enough to be a Liverpool player because as soon as you lose that, well, it's never going to happen, is it? Yeah, definitely. I've always had belief in myself. I think the loans I've been, been on, my first one was eight, 18. I went to Crewe and yeah, I felt I'd score scoring all these goals in the youth, youth teams for Liverpool and I thought I'd go to League One at the time and yeah, it'd be exactly the same and yeah. I found out quickly it wasn't. So mm -hmm. it took me to mm. come back and yeah, captain the 23s here for a year and a half to... Yeah, to really get my confidence back back again, I went up to Mel Melwood full full time, and yeah, was training with the first team day in day out, but never getting in the squads. And yeah, that was when I went on loan loan to Hull, and I felt my career really started uh, maybe a bit later than what I wanted. Being, I think I just just turned 20, so yeah, it was a bit later than what I wanted. But now I'm 22, and I've got over 100 appearances under my belt in men's men's foot, foot, football, and I'm in the Premier League where I've always wanted to be. You know, everyone talks about loans and you're dropping down levels. You spoke about crew, hull, etc. Well, give us a little idea of what the differences are as well, because obviously the facilities here, mm -hmm. the, the resources they have here at Liverpool are going to be far different and greater than they are at the previous clubs you've mentioned. So just give us an idea of what the big differences are. I went to Bournemouth from West Ham. I was washing my own kit. Yeah. I didn't even actually. Is there an machine. argument that when you went there, you hated it and thought, "What am I doing?" And oh, now no, you, you know. look back 20 years later and think that was the best thing for my no. football education. Oh, no, I loved it. Did you? Yeah. I mean, the washing the kit was like, well, well I mean, where's the, the, the lady that does the dry cleaning and the washing? Where is she? But you go and do it yourself. You go and get it, collect it, bring it in. And there are details that were probably different then. What are the ones now? Yeah. Well, when I went to Crew when I was 18, I drove there myself and yeah, I met the kit man and he gave me this big bin big bin, bin bag full of kit and yeah he was like here's your kit uh, you wash it yourself and yeah like you said it was new to me like I'd been used to getting my kit washed as a scholar at Liverpool by the laundry la lady mm. every day and it'd go there and it's fold folded perfectly for you in your place so yeah to go there it was a big eye opener for me and I was only there I think three and a half months but I came back to Liverpool and I felt like I felt like I'd grown up a lot in in the, in that time. Mm. Felt like I yeah I'd become a man. I, I didn't I didn't have everything my own way, which I'd been having in the youth teams at Liverpool. And so most importantly, you'd learned how to clean your kit. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, think I got I think my mum done it for me. But, uh, 